Alright, hey you guys. I'm not even looking at the camera, but um, I have a special unboxing, which is going to be, you guessed it, you guessed it. Mm -hmm. Hey here, you guys, I'm not sure. Um, yes, I got my DHO package today. I had already opened it. And, let's see. I got some more hair, hair, uh, hair spills wigs. Yeah. 100% virgin human hair. And, um, let's just get to open it. And I'm not being cute, as you can tell. I never am. Um, <laughs> this time I had got the Peruvian. You know what? I'm going to link that other stuff in the description box because, um, yeah. I have no idea what the name of this is. I really don't know. Shoot. But, um, I'm gonna link it in the description box. Because it's my editing skills poor. Um, this was, like, on the inside. So, extra stuff that you get in here are, of course, the Rosu eyelashes that are 100% human hair. Um, don't think I'm gonna wear those at all. Um, they give you this... Hair spells code with a coupon code on it. And it tells you to scan this QR. And uh, that is the website. I don't know if you guys seen it. And on the inside, it just tells you their story and how to maintain your wigs or hair that you get from them. Which um, is pretty simple. Um, it tells you how to treat them. Uh, too much leave-in conditioners will create a buildup and will cause it to tangle faster. If the hair feels dry or heavy with buildup, wash it with a high-quality moisturizing shampoo or conditioner. And um, on the back, it tells you how to get connected with them, which I would highly advise that you guys do. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I will try to link their <coughs> website in there. And... Uh, I would suggest that you guys get with them just for more information. Alright, now let's get to looking at this wig, dog. Okay. Um, with this, it gives you more contact information. This is 14 inches. It tells you right there. It's Peruvian curling. It's not body weight, y'all. I don't... It's killing me because I don't know. Um... When I come back and I have it on, then I will tell you guys. Um, yeah, so it's 14 inches. And they add this little label. Sorry. It tells you it's Peruvian. Let's look at it. This is a lace frontal unit. In a natural color. Guys, I just took the hair out of So freaking gorgeous. Now I have ordered from Hair Spells before. It was a deep curly unit, and I loved it, still have it, and, um, look at that, you guys, let me get back, let me get back, do y'all see this? And it has a natural shine to it, and just, like, not heavy, you know how sometimes you buy synthetic wigs and then it's, like, too much, and, um, Kind of unbearable you know it's wiggy it doesn't look natural but this is so nice this, this hair is so soft you guys my goodness okay yes i am kind of looking doodly today i am i just threw this t-shirt on <laughs> okay okay now my other unit that i had purchased from them the deep curly deep curly unit did not have the lace at the back, so I will be able to put this up in a ponytail, which is A1 for me. Hey, <laughs> hey. And, um, here's the inside of it. 
it has a fairly decent amount of parting space because I'm not really big on trying to style it too much. It has, let's see, one, two, two sides comb, two side combs, sorry about that. Two side combs, and then you have this middle one right here. And then you have this one right there at the back. And I need those. <laughs> I really like to have my wig secure. Um, I'm an active tennis player, so I do like to have my wig secure when I run out there in the court. And I don't need any slip-ups. And this lace, it's... I want to say that it's not like that cheap beauty supply wig. You know how you go and you get the lace front. And it could run you around like 20 bucks, 30 bucks for it. And sometimes, that's any, okay, let me just stop. It's any, and uh, it can be like really hard, and it'll be like crunchy, but this isn't crunchy at all, you guys. No, it's fairly soft, and um, it has a little baby hair already. It looks like it could be pre plucked which I think it slightly is, if I'm not mistaken. Don't have me lying. Um, it just looks like it's a really natural hairline. I'm loving those baby hairs. So, you guys, um, I'm going to cut the lace and stuff. You know what? I will be right back. Okay, hey, you guys. I'm back. All I did was just take this bonnet off. I just wanted to watch me uh, <laughs> a couple of minutes of Judge Faith. If you guys haven't watched Judge Faith, watch her. It's really good. And it's on YouTube. She has full episodes on YouTube, and it's courtroom show. Just, you guys, please go check her out. Um, and her TV show is nationally syndicated, too. So if you guys like Judge Judy, Judge Maybelline, Judge Mathis, you guys just might like her. Okay, so. Okay, and, um, I don't know if y'all know, but uh, my edges are really thin. It's not like I'm bald or anything, but my edges are really thin. And I had got my hair cut in a pixie cut almost a month ago. I'm trying to let that grow out. Um, my hair is braided. I cannot braid on my own this tight, but I can braid my hair good enough. Okay, let me put it back on. Just y'all, y'all won't think I'm just bald headed. No, I have not got my eyebrows done either, y'all. So <laughs> come for me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, I haven't even cut this unit. Um, I haven't cut the lace or anything, but I am going to just throw it on so you guys can kind of get what it feels like. Um, yeah. Um, it's nice. Um, so, right about now, I can tell you this is not tightened to something I would like. Make sure it's like I'll say. Because normally I'll end up having to cut the ear tabs off. Because it's, it's not cute at all to have just the last deep curly unit. I don't know what it was. I'm going to have to cut some of this lace off anyway. But um, I guess, you know, it was too big and then the ear tabs were highly uncomfortable. And uh, I had to end up cutting them off. Because, you know, they're like too big. Not everybody. Ah, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. My, oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yes, but it's loose. Now, eh, I think it's like a 130 density, so it's not thick at all. Ow. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about this right now sitting on my head. I'm not really liking it too much, but that's what we have to tweak them for. So, um, what I'm going to do, what I do to lay down my wigs, yes, that's probably number one question whenever it comes to like these wig videos I um I actually use got to be glued and it works I have not had any edges pulled out my edges have always looked like this it's just genetics <clears throat> my mother has thin hair I have thin edges and everything else is thick um so it's just hereditary on things like that Whoa. Dang. Well, this is just nice. But, like, like the hook wasn't sewn on that good, so it kind of, like, popped off. Crap. 
hat. Oh, I like sewing this. So, um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to, because this one side is gonna be like really sparse. But anyway, like, um, I'll tighten that side up. So that's good. Okay, it's a little bit better. One side. Okay. Let's see. Um, I am going to put foundation wherever I part it. And the parting ends, let's see, where is it? Parting ends right back here. So that's really nice. Um, so it's not bad at all. And got to be glued last probably three days for me, two to three days, depending on how much activity I do. Baby, do baby hair is popping. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Did I just lose that? Oh, hot dogs. Okay. Anyway, I'll find it in a minute. But um, the structure of the cap is really nice, and I always seem to go back to hair spells. So I'm going to keep buying hair from hair spells until I get like sick of it, which I'm probably not. Um, so, uh, yeah, for that, I'm going to come back, you guys, and, um, have that all situated and have it on my head by the time I'm already styled, done, and cool washed. So, I'm going to be back later, probably tonight, and I will have sewed that little hook back on. But, you guys get you some popcorn because this might like last a long time for unnecessary reasons catch you in a minute